Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to part 17 of the Level 3 PvP only series. In the recent video, we made it to the mountaintops, we got grabbed by the three fingers, did quite a lot of PvP, so ended up being level 71 at the end of the video, and our weapons are in the plus 14 range. Today's plan is just to try to make our way through the mountaintops, trying to get a lot more runes as well, because we are kind of lacking on rune level for this area, as well as weapon upgrade. We really need to find some more high level phantoms. So to start it off, we are going to be doing some invasions. Try to hope for some high level phantoms. It looks like we're going to be starting our day in the Shifa River. Alright. I do see what looks like a wizard. Hello there, wizard. You have a straight sword. I can see that much. Wizard! I was right. Hmm. We'll swap to the Kukri. Away for the fan dagger so we can pop the bubble. Bedoozle! Alright, Bedoozle. Trying to make it so I can't Estus, huh? That's just inconsiderate. Ooh, you didn't panic roll that. I gotta give you that. We spaced the straight sword. Oh man, the frostbite though. Bonk. Oh, he's reaction rolling nicely, honestly. That's a kind of a cliff. Oh. He was trying to guard to get the faster recovery of the attack, but he got guard broken instead. <laughs> really gotta pay attention to the second swing of your weapon because it does have half the poise damage, so... A lot of the times with straight swords, I'll just try to poise through the second one. We have Nox Stella next, with Yao. I kind of want to use Stormcaller. Ooh, hello guys! That looks like a wizard. Oh, you look kind of high level. You do wielding great swords, but you kind of don't have armor regardless, so I suppose... Means you don't have to be high level. Ooh, giant hunt, huh? Spacing yourself nicely. I'm gonna go this way. Just because I don't see my camera rotating around here. Wizardry! Oh my god, I jumped the vertical attack of the greatsword. Smack! Smack! Ew. Gandalf! Okay, we're gonna need more crowd control. <laughs> I wonder if the wizard understands that I'm avoiding the pews. Oh, that one actually hit me. Hi, guys. Why would you send the blue back? That's a weird... Oh. I was going to say, I definitely roll caught that second one. Oh, that's me. LT. Oh, I tried to aim it for the greatsword guy. <laughs> what in the... Ooh, I think Anastasia over there is having some interesting connections. Does this have enough poise to tank a greatsword, truly? Um, I'm a little afraid of that guy's connection, to be honest. I feel weird things happening here in general. <laughs> Alright, let's get this. Boost our thrust. Whee! This is for you. Because you think you're safe behind me. Oh! Well, that was a really snappy backstab. Confused? Yeah. 1400 souls. Not too amazing, I guess. I think he was in sort of appropriate level. Alright, let's go. I got a greatsword with you. Oh, I swapped. Because I thought you were a greatsword enthusiast. <laughs> Are we mirror matching? Alright, let's go. I'm excited. We're both going to be doing quite a lot of jumping attacks. I hope he's ready for that. <laughs> he was trying to do like a reverse jump like this. Oh, I, I say it as I missed. I went to jump and I missed entirely. Man, that is crazy, honestly. The fact that you can get like a triple roll catch on that. <laughs> These swords are my favorite. R2. R2. I don't understand what I go by right now. Oh, what in the... <laughs> what a unique situation. Because you get like half the poise in the second swing of your weapon, right? We both have enough hyper armor to tank it. <laughs> so we hyper armored the first one. And then we definitely were going to hyper armor the second one. I wonder how long we could have gone trading. <laughs> Nocron, the eternal city. With old school, okay. 
It's a wizard. A lone wizard. Maybe a lone wizard. Hello, old school. What do you have for me? A great sword? You're not a wizard. I mean, you look like a wizard. You tell me when you're ready. I, f I don't know why. I just, I get this feeling. Oh. I was going to say, I get this feeling you're trying to ambush me. Whoa. Whoa. Aha! Interesting. What if we mixed it up and we did something a little bit longer? <laughs> oh, he was kind of ready. I like that, though. Can't really parry jump attacks. You can try your best to, though. Oh, I kind of missed the turnaround. Oh, a nice jump, though. Ah, uh, but we get the hyper armor from the R2. Fun fight though, old school. 1800, okay, well, we can go see what we can do with that amount. I think I'm gonna invest in stones. I don't really have enough to get more than two weapons to plus 15 at the moment, so. We need a few more of the smithing stone fives first. With our next haul of runes, we'll definitely try to either upgrade a few of the weapons to 15, because we have a lot at 14. My main four that I use here are at 14 at the very least. All right, now we actually go and we do some of the PvE in the mountaintop area. Come along, Torrent. We shall be off. We already grabbed the bell bearing from the Xamar rune, so we don't really need to do anything around here, I don't think. We could fight Mr. Smo here, and there is a cave below us. I don't remember what's in this cave, though. But we're going to find out. The Giant's Mountaintop Catacombs. I'm pretty sure I invaded here on my regular build recently. Our favorite enemies. <laughs> Always. This is only one of them. Well, we backstab. Oh, I hate that when things are in like a jumping animation. You can't backstab it too easily after they land. It's like a little cooldown. Jump on in. <laughs> like you're one behind me. No. Just him. Okay. Which one of these has the lower area below it? Not this one. Alright. Backstub. <laughs> I do appreciate the iframes, because these kinda hurt, these magic blasts. Ow. Ow. Excuse me, man. I'm gonna need you to relax with those. I need my health back now. <laughs> We're gonna land another backstop. No! Don't dodge away from me. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, this one has the many floors that all look the same. So this one is the one that has the ritual pots, I think. Oh, that blade almost killed me, actually. That was close. Ha! <laughs> the best uppercut ever. Excuse me. I'm glad you guys can hurt each other. Alright, there's the big pot. Hello there. Forget, do you guys drop anything? Oh, we get a meat dumpling and a living jar shard. And then we need to send this one up. Bye. Oh, you stayed here? <laughs> oh my god. Before we dive into that, let's just do a little bit of this. Alright. Oh my god, you almost made me fall out. I've been kind of sad. You hurt. Um. Oh. 
I know I can drop down there. But honestly, fighting these and getting the meat dumplings and stuff can be worth it. There we go. And what else is up here before we drop down? A few of the baby jars. The actual lever. And now we're good. Is it a watchdog still? Oh no. It's an ulcerated tree spirit. The worst. I feel like they'd be weak to fire, right? I actually don't know their weaknesses yet, but... We fought so many of them, you think I would. Yeah. Ow, that hurt. Ow. Stop giving me the backhand. <laughs> Let's drink some Physic Flask. There we go. Let me see, I think we'll get a crit soon. Perfect. Explosion incoming. Oh. oh. I'm the worst at dodging that still. Woo. Well, that does an immense amount of damage. Okay. What do you drop us, though? Another golden seed? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we get the glove wart bell though. I'm already max Estus. What is in the chest? Oh, that's a death root boss. I didn't even notice. Unfortunately, we can't use these runes. So we're gonna wipe and do some invasions. The sealed tunnel. Ooh, Maverick. Hello there. How are you guys? This would be perfect for a Waves of Darkness moment. I'm a little sad that I have yet to go grab that. Um, I want you guys both to rush me. That'd be great. Here we go. Interesting. Poisoning the blade. <laughs> now we can have a little regen of our own with our L2. <laughs> I love that it gets other health back. Um, Let's see. A lance with giant hunt could be fun. I'm probably going to have to clear my poison in a second. He's being aggressive in a smart way. Oh, no. Oh, that's not a giant swipe take. I'm just so conditioned to see that. Oh, my God. That host is terrifying, truly. But the way he glides around. How am I supposed to know where he is? We got some frostbite. Oh. Maybe the... Oh. We got enough regen to actually do some work there. I have no idea what's going on. We're gonna L2 here. Did I hit him? Oh, I just took all his hits at once. That's terrifying. <laughs> you got baited. I love it. Maverick is your war chief over here. He's doing all the damage. Oh, that was a good R2 though. I kind of walked into it. But... Backstab, maybe? No. What? Where? I see the blue up there, and I'm a little tempted to go over there just to kill him because I want the runes. <laughs> My greed. <laughs> then they could escape me, though. But you know what? It's worth it. We haven't been getting many runes. Hello there. I'm going to be taking your runes, sir. I'm sorry. But it is the reality. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm back. Hi there. L2. Oh, I actually stopped him from doing it. <laughs> no, I need the hell in the rooms. No. <laughs> what have you done? I was like, ha, he fell off, but then I realized that ruins my plans. <laughs> oh, nice, some outskirts. I feel like I've had the highest level phantoms in this area. 
For whatever reason, honestly. Ooh. Hey, a blue summoned. I get the feeling that they are not down here. We're gonna warp and hope it brings me atop the mountain. This is an entirely different area, and this is where I want to be. <laughs> is there a wizard? Hmm, I see some bleed. Hi guys. I don't think I see a wizard though, so we're gonna prepare ourselves for a fight with bleed. Yeah, oh, this is that was the right call, indeed. We are definitely gonna be fighting bleed. <laughs> oh, some wind on the bleed as well. I love how the host is just so aggro. Please, host, don't be aggro like that. I need you to relax. <laughs> it's raining a little bit. Bap. He wants to L2 so badly. I can sense it in him. There's the L2. Oh man, I missed. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna need a nice wide arc cache of war here. They are staying in like a, a bundle. There goes one. Can I swap this on quick for the runes? I think I can. I don't really know if the hosts or I mean the phantom are gonna be high level. Ah, uh, that one was not at all actually. That is unfortunate. Oh, a blood flame blade though. Oh, I was gonna say I know I did that. <laughs> you knocked me out of it. I love having the higher blue resistance because of the shield. Definitely a worthwhile pickup in your playthrough. Oh. Oh, well. I'll take that back stab. I'm out of stamina. Oh. Bullet loss. No. I R2, well, I was going to not R2 you, but your teammate just came in. Ugh. I do want to dodge the next blood loss proc, so I don't want to get hit by the phantom bleed of the red. Whoa. I want the phantom. Hello there, Hattori. <laughs> Come back here. Bop. Bop. Oh, that's pretty close to bleeding me. Let's just heal. In case we get blood. Can't dodge the bleed forever. What are you doing over there? I'm glad that worked out for me. Alright, just you, Messi. I'm gonna say, are we full trading here? It seems like it. Oh! Well, <laughs> that's unfortunate, man. Fun fight, though, guys. I love that you went for a theme there. It was like a whole bleed team. Yeah, some royal capital invasions. I feel like these are always my favorite. I don't know what level is the most popular here. Oh, hello there. Sir, you have a teammate. Protect him. At all costs, don't run away from me. You guys are truly going to run this, aren't you? You're going to get bonked. No, you're not. I need a chase down weapon. Whoa. Nice. Well, I didn't get the backstab, but... Bob, this is like the one weapon that can catch for play roll. <laughs> Way to abandon your teammate. <laughs> but you know what? I'll take the runes, even if you go fight gold free. <laughs> We've invaded a prophet. <laughs> Just, oh, they're fighting the boss. Well, hang on. What is this? Tom Riddle. Excuse me, Tom, but I cannot allow you to live. For the good of the world. <laughs> and my rune count. All right, prophet, I'm sorry. Normally, we're not so vicious, truly. But right now, we need weapon upgrades. <laughs> we are lacking. Oh no, you've poisoned me. Well, you know what we have for that. No, not flame fortification. <laughs> yes, that's truly the counter. All right, Prophet, run away from the boss though. I would actually rather you not get ganked here. Oh, 900 HP, that is not a lot. <laughs> I 
It's such a good Ash of War for people that run away from me. I think he's looking at me. Yes, that time he was. <laughs> Alright, Prophet. That's a wall. I was going to say, do we have more of a strat here? <laughs> I like how he's turning around every once in a while. Prophet, maybe get a blue? Oh, the jump turn around. And you can't see this coming because of your own frostbite. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That was truly evil of me, but... Now we have probably enough to get a few of our weapons to plus 15. This run is making me evil. I feel like I only really use these weapons around me a lot. Definitely the claymore is our base. We're gonna we're gonna stick to that. I like the Knight Rider Glaive to get people off me. And then it's it's a toss-up between the AP for Chase Down or the Stars because I really enjoy Stormcaller. We'll go with Great Stars for now. And then we can also get our Halberd, because plus six, I believe, is the same as a plus fifteen, so. Now we can buy a few more stones. Probably not enough. We still need to invest in some more plus five stones. The plus five ones are a little on the expensive side. You can grab a few more, one more, four. <laughs> yeah, okay. Back outside we go. I don't really need to fight off Grand Smo here. I don't think he gives me anything that I need, but... We can grab this, Arteria Leaf. I don't remember how accurate he is with that arrow. <laughs> I just picture myself getting blown off the cliff. Hey there. I want that item. It's a rune. Forgetting a grace here. Or is it just right up here? Oh, yeah. Let's see, this looks familiar. I know we have a volcano manor quest in this general area, right? Yeah, we have Hoslo. We're definitely gonna do that. There's a war going on here, just don't mind me. I'll be horsing by. What do we have? Oh, the Traveling Maiden set. Did I go by this? The I did go by the invasion sign. Completely forgot where it was. Okay. Now, Hoslo, I know you bloodhound step. And you have dual whips, <laughs> and you emote at me. Well, that's how I get the emotes, that's fair. Can we roll catch? I'm gonna say, definitely not once he uses bloodhound step. I feel like he goes a large distance away. Oh, but the R2? No, definitely not. Get our regen going, so we can just face tank. You are tanky. Ow. <laughs> I like how he uses it to go around and not away. It is interesting. Maybe this would be a little bit better with a ranged weapon. In fact, I think Stormblade is a good call here. Bloodhound step spammer. <laughs> Whoa. I forgot you had Estus, to be honest. Alright, so what's the call here when someone just does Bloodhound step around you? I guess you can do this. Not the best tracking on the Halberd, but... Enough poise to tank that. Wasn't expecting that, Hoslo. Damn. At least I'm not bled. Yeah, this range is nice. Alright, you out of Ustis. Oh, I always forget how much range... All right, now we bait you into us. Maybe this will roll catch. Yeah, that actually works well. <laughs> oh my god. Tougher fight than most invasions we've had, to be honest. I need more stamina. Maybe we'll finish. Oh, this is not what I thought it was. All right, we have the range with this. I'm out of FP. Oslo, come here. <laughs> you are tanky, my friend. Now we get the whips. 
And his armor set as well. His armor is pretty cool, to be honest. I don't mind it. Now, what else is in this general vicinity? We could jump up top. Because there is the spring there. Oh, hey. Somber. Oh, wait. Regular stone seven. Nice. I'll take that. And a few warming stones. Unexpected. Up I go. This isn't the route I normally take. But it's useful, I guess. Oh, I can use the jellyfish ash of war to get the spin ray now. Maybe I will do that. We need to equip spirit jelly ash. There we go. Your sister. This is a cute little side quest. Nice. And we got the fancy spin. That's all that truly matters. And we also get the primal glunstone blade. I don't think I've ever used that, but... Now we ride along. I suppose we can go right to Castle Soul. Do I want Death's Poker right now? No, I think we're gonna we're gonna stick to strength. We're basically like near the end of the game. We're pretty low level, but we are gonna do another run of this, and maybe I'll leave a, a poll or a comment below for you guys voting on what build you'd like to see. Comment the build you'd enjoy the most anyway, and I'll look and read all the comments. I feel like it would be fun to make either faith or bleed. I feel like those playthroughs could be fun. It'd be interesting to see how they do at low level. Dex is also fun. Lightning infusions would be pretty well, I feel like, throughout the game, so. Okay, let's go this way. Actually, you know what? We did some PvE journeying. Let's do some PvP. I feel like we really need to get our runes up there. We wipe. <laughs> it's going to be interesting to stand next to this while invading. I'm going to cut to the invasions for you guys, but I'm going to be hearing ding. Volcano Manor. It's always interesting to be doing the playthrough and then you get spawned anywhere at all that I've been. It's just so fun. Normally when I'm standing around waiting to invade, you just expect that, but right now it's just so random. Alright, they are in here, I believe. I heard them. We do a little bit of... TORNADO! Oh my god, that is a monster! 92 damage! Wait. Whoa, that's terrifying. Okay, we're gonna... Whoop. That seems like a high-level phantom if I've ever seen one, right? So we're definitely going to focus him. Hello there, wizard. You do obscene amounts of damage. So we're going to focus that. Woo! Oh my god, I just realized it's a wizard! <laughs> Using the giant crusher! <laughs> That's got to be a monster and a half! Okay, we're definitely going to go anti-wizard here. I need to cast my magic fortification. Hey there, wizard. That's a pretty hopeful swing. I don't know what kind of range you think that hammer has, but it isn't the all-powerful. I like my little PvE teammate here, though. It's helping. No, game! Don't lock onto the wrong one. We had it! This game loves to do that. Oh my god, this is, this is the bank. Perfect. You have to be high level. There's no way a wizard's just rocking the giant crusher. Oh, yeah. 100k. I'll take it. Oh, man. Okay, now we just need to finish you off. Didn't want that backstab, but you know what? I'm a little afraid of what's going on here. That's huge. We can actually get a few levels. When I hit them and it did 90 damage, that's when I was like, all right, we found them. It's been a while since we've cashed out this large. I warped here so I didn't have to hear the bell ringing. <laughs> okay, let's see how many levels we get. So three, honestly, not that many. Unfortunately, I find it so hard to choose my levels right now. Because our damage output for the most part isn't going up that high with Frostbite, but I feel like it would be with fire. I just want to do a little experiment. If we made this fire infused, how much AR would we get per? Definitely more. 
It's like three each. So if we went the fire route, we get better damage output, but obviously we don't get the frostbite proc. I think we'll level into strength here. Get our strength up a little bit. What's the AR? 471 versus 418. I feel like Frostbite kind of benefits the Banished Knight more than the Claymore because you're hitting multiple times, whereas Fire, you just get the better AR on it. So maybe we'll do that for now. And we have some leftover runes. So we either... Let's just buy a few stones. How many can we get? Six? I'll take it. And then wait, we have 400 left. We can buy another spinning stone too. Okay, back to some more invasions. Some Kaled action. Hi guys, how are you? There's a wizard. Prepare ourselves right away for the wizard battle. Hello there. Wizard! Come back. Oh my god. Oh my god, do you even see me? I feel the runes. They're within grasp here. Maybe not. <laughs> You protected your wizard well. I will give you that. I love Stormblade, honestly. So useful with how people run away from me. Ooh, oh, that is the Bolt of Grand Sex. Wait, so you're a wizard and you have the Bolt of Grand Sex? Interesting. This could be the moment to uh, maybe... Whoop. You should probably not allow me to kill you right there. It'd be a better bet to... <laughs> you are a protector of your phantom, honestly. Oh. Whee! As long as we dodge that, we're going to be fine. That's really the like, damage number here. That's also a bit scary. I don't, I don't even see them. Oh, uh, no more of that. No need. I didn't even get like the pre-warning there, that's so weird. Bonk. <laughs> I love all the estheses here. Alright, let's get this going. Whee. Hey, a blue coming in, I like that. You seem... I don't know. Your stat spread seems weird if you're not high level. I love that, thank you. Oh, animate, wait, blue. No, oh, I didn't have time to swap on the talisman. I was gonna say the blue phantom just like destroyed himself, I guess. Yeah, you're like a wizard. You have the bolt of grand sacks. That has to be high level, right? No, let me let me let me swap to the bonus talisman. Oh, it's too late. A twenty k, not the worst. I got stunned by too many things there, unfortunately. We keep it on for you, though, Mr. Hosty. I'll give you a bow. Hey, you know what? It was a high-level phantom. Not 100k, but 20. I'll definitely take 20. These are much better invasions. <laughs> we can... Lanedell, but the area before Lanedell. Oh, or they're just in here. No, they definitely ran by. Oh, I don't know if they know I exist behind them. We have an opportunity here. Opportunity kind of ruined. <laughs> Unfortunately. Boop. Oh no, I don't want you. Can I ask why oh, he was doing an L2R2 attack for sure? Hi guys. I sense Black Flame Tornado. I don't really have that on this build, so I gotta be weary, honestly. Well, that's an interesting use. But my bubble, your bubble is now gone. Both of you at once. I love the gravity stones, actually. So good. Oh, I thought he'd be a little aggressive, but we have a little bubbler here. You defeated the bubble champion. What have you done, host? You silly. <laughs> Oh man, Banish Knight is always so good. He definitely... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I knew it. He was enjoying corners a little too much. That's how he knew he was going to go for that. Whoop. Running attack? No? Yeah, let's switch it up. Great sword fight. Let's go. 
Oh. Griffith. Oh. I didn't expect you to catch me with that. The one-handed attack. Oh, I was going to say, if I'm out of stamina, that might catch me. But no, it was good. Let him use a little bit of his FP. <laughs> I love how off guard that gets people. Think they'll get a little aggressive? No, they're not. They're playing pretty defensive. Probably because Griffith doesn't have a lot of HP, to be honest. Yeah, that's why. Alright, there's a blue coming in, though, so we can use that to our advantage. Oh, hey, that was like, what, 9k? 8k? That's something. Where's the blue going to be, though? Oh, uh, well, blue is too slow, unfortunately. We'll give you a bow, though. That was actually good teamwork. Now, I think I think I have enough to level up. I actually didn't check what the requirement was now that we're level 70. What are we? 74. So we're a thousand off from leveling. We're just going to do one more invasion because it's pretty rare we're going to get to level now. And I'd rather actually get the level than waste all the runes. Well, not waste them. I guess we could upgrade our weapons, but I feel like it's harder to level up now than it is to upgrade our weapon. Somewhere in the Altus Plateau. Oh, before the poison area, yes. Let's see. I wonder how much... What's the AR on all our weapons now? This is almost 400. This does five. So unfortunately, my hard drive space reached zero during the recording of that invasion. I didn't really get a ton of souls. I fought a phantom that was heavy rolling with a great shield and his wizard teammate. It gave me enough to level up, so I got one more level into strength. It allowed me to get five more AR out of my fire claymore, so I figured it was a good investment. But yeah, I didn't realize it until I had already leveled up, and then I went to just look at the recording, and it was off. I need to remember to delete what I record, apparently, because I haven't been doing that for a long time. I thought I just had endless space, oh, apparently. I don't know if we have enough to level up any of the weapons with the leftover here. What do we have, 28? I don't think that's... I mean, we could level up one weapon, I suppose. Uh, that's tough. Maybe we'll go for the weapon. I could get the Ape. I feel like I use that quite a lot. We already have the Glaive, the Claymore. I have the Banished Knight as well, though. That's upgraded, that's upgraded. But yeah, we may as well go for the Ape. Yeah, we can get a Smithing Stone 5. We're definitely lacking those. All right, Denial. I wonder what he's weak against. I'm using a Fire Sword. I'm going to bet on Fire just because he's an Ice Boss. It just makes sense. Maybe we start with the Ritual Shield Talisman. I feel like that could be pretty good. All right, now I need to remember which one is the more damaging one. I feel like we might want to take on the dual wield one first because he's got the tornado attack. Yep, yep, that would be a good reason. Hey right, guys, let me just hit him a few times. I remember him being quite strong compared to his counterpart with the shield. He had the tornado attack. All right, now we're probably good to go. I lied. That's not as damaging, though, to be honest. Hey, I can go through shields. How easy do you think it would be to guard break them? I feel like not very. Well, let's drink our physic class then. Oh, I thought it was going to be a different attack. What would be really good against you? That's tough. Something with a lot of poise damage. Actually, this could be a really good PvE weapon in general. Um. Oh, oh. I regen when I hit you. Oh god, that's terrifying. How much damage did that just do to me? Alright, I do like the kick attack. I feel like we can do things out of it. Our team maybe? Yeah, we duck under that. Luckily. Oh, really delayed, really long range. That ate my ammo. Okay. Chase, remember to not guard before doing everything. That has been my hardest habit to break. By far, from Dark Souls 3 to Elden Ring. Like, guarding before would be a little bit better and more optimal than Dark Souls 3, because you kind of, like, recover from animations a bit quicker. But Elden Ring, man. It does kind of the same thing, but your input gets eaten quite a lot if you, like, click guard and then do something. Whoa, buddy. That is a lot of range you got there. R2? Maybe I should be doing R2s more. Oh, yeah, like that. Like, you're in, like, an interrupted stage here. I don't know if that was what we should have done. But... Oh. Ah. Oh. I got poked in the head. 
Well, fire's doing okay. Oh, a crit. I'll take it. Okay, I'm kind of ready for that kick now, to be honest. Not that bad. Definitely surprised me when it hit me, though. <laughs> it did so much damage. <laughs> okay. You're not. Nice. Oh, I feel like even when I roll that, I still get hit by it, to be honest. I need to, like, roll it tighter, I guess. Or run away from it. I haven't decided on the best course of action there. Oh! I thought it was going to be the tornado one. Oh, what in the... Excuse me. You are demolishing my health bar right now, right now. Ooh. Relax, relax. Let me heal. I wanted to do this. Okay, you're an enjoyer of the chase down right now. I like that. Yeah, we cut that a little bit better this time. I was kind of like almost early before. Oh, I haven't seen that yet. Forgot about that entirely. I think fire actually was better. Ah, that's a weird one. Okay, I think. Ooh, a crit. I don't know if I want to hit him and wake up. Yep, that's why I was scared. <laughs> he likes doing that kick out of nowhere. Oh. Okay, this is the attack one. They look very similar. Is he going to do the chase down again? No, okay. As long as I'm ready for it, it's okay. That one time I went to attack. Oh. That keeps catching me off guard. Alright, we can actually use the ritual shield here. I think he's gonna do the attack one. Yup! <laughs> I should. Oh, that was gonna be the snow. Again? Interesting. A third time? There's no way, right? Okay, well, I'm just gonna charge an R2. Ow. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> Nile's still hard though. Has some really good burst damage as we've seen. That kick is terrifying. <laughs> this also reminds me of that invasion recently where I got to spawn on the other side of the boss. It was so weird. Okay. Now we could go towards the Hallig tree. I don't really know what route I want to go next. Probably this way though. So, I guess we just, oh my god, I don't want to warp near the bells, though. <laughs> you know what, honestly, we could go here and then run up to the grace that I never got. And then I don't have to hear the ringing. And we just fought a boss, so we're, of course, going to wipe our souls. Then we get to do some invasions. Oh, we've invaded Lucatiel. Okay. I don't think I've fought here much. At least not in the series. Oh, hello there, guys. Tatake! And Lucatiel. Okay, we're gonna run around that. It's kind of funny that you can just sort of strafe that. Um, this one's the the host, right? Lucatiel. Yeah, it said invaded Lucatiel. So. Play in wizard dodgeball. <laughs> There's lots of damage going on here. Um, I didn't think you're safe, but you were distracted by the wizardry. It's taking everything that I have in me right now to not kill that wizard. Truly. Hello. <laughs> hey. <laughs> wizard, you're crazy. Look at you go. Hey there. That's got to be, like, consuming a lot of FP. We're going to use the tent here strategically. That blocks it, right? Yeah. Oh, but not the Scarlet Rob Wrath. Okay. Well. <laughs> we teabag back. What's the plan, though? You actually have to fight. The teabag isn't going to stop me. Even though I could teabag with you. 
<laughs> you seem like you're kind of high level. I kind of want your souls. I don't want your wizard. I want your wizard to disappear. In all honesty. Jump attack? What's the plan? Get backstabbed? Yeah, that did decent damage. That did not do decent damage. How is your damage so bad, actually, Mr. Sir? Alright, we heal a little bit. Bonk. Bonk. Wizard, don't make me... Oh, hey, Dragon Breath. I'm gonna L2 you here. Literally out of FP. That's funny. <laughs> I like that you guys are attacking in a group, though. Madness. That's definitely a high-level phantom. Ooh, okay. Let's pull up the Flaming Strike, then. This could be useful. I mean, that's more intimidating than it is damaging, to be honest. Truly. <laughs> it doesn't do much. It's like they're chip damaging. But, like, at the same time, why? Oh my god, you're a wizard. No, I don't want to kill the wizard, though. I want to kill Tatake. Okay, let's do this. Alright, there we go. Just for the high runes. I know he's high level, so. 11k! Hey, we take it, we take it. Alright. Lucatio, come back! <laughs> the Phantom was hilarious. I think he thought he had it in the bag with all those tea bags. He was ready. <laughs> um. <laughs> Goodbye, Lucatiel. You were innocent in that. <laughs> but the phantom had to go down. So that's all the time that I have for today's part of the Level 3 PvP only series. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. In the next episode, we're going to be continuing through the mountaintop area. But we're first going to start with PvP. I plan to do quite a bit of PvP at the beginning, try to level up. I'm currently level 75 and our weapons are at the highest, plus 15. So we will do quite a bit of PvP at the beginning next time to try to level up our character. Always feel free to recommend any weapons or things that I have left behind in the areas. That could be useful on a strength build anyway. I do appreciate all the input. Until the next video, this is goodbye. I will see you guys all next time. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.